Okay, Saturday, May 2nd. Beautiful day. Beautiful walk. There's people friggin' everywhere now that shit's reopened. We're reopening. Traffic's really picked up. Don't see a lot of masks. That's good. You know, again, people can't get complacent when it comes to this ease on the lockdown. Because uh, this is only just beginning. People don't realize the food supply chain being purposely destroyed. Um, they can't understand wh or even care about why the stock market's going up while the economy's not moving at all. Nothing is moving. <laughs> Everything is stopped. But stock market keeps going up. They are pumping trillions into it. At which point when things start moving again, that's when you will see the problem monetarily. Whether it's hyperinflation or of Zimbabwe proportions. <laughs> um, people don't realize what's coming. You know, um, this uh, forced inoculation agenda that your hero Trump supports. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. He's fighting the cabal. He really shut up. The guy's not doing anything to change anything. Stop it. Grow up. So uh, on lighter news, not even lighter, just more bizarro news, I guess I should say. Censorship is ramping up. If you didn't catch Max Egan today they've taken down his facebook page now along with david ike um yesterday a couple of his videos he said came down uh this week and of course they were the ones with clips they don't want you to find you see again they put the truth out there one of the clips was cuomo on tv saying you know that this is completely voluntary and they have they can't lock down millions of people it's it's a choice uh, you know, because, again, they, they know how karma works. They know how natural law works. They put it out there. They have to manipulate you into doing what they want. You know, they're not actually performing the action. Everyone else is doing what they're told, following their orders. We had tons of military planes playing jet tag today over the house because I'm over here near the air base. Very loud and annoying. Uh, you know, we hope that they... Uh, Understand what standing up for freedom means doesn't mean following orders it means being brave and courageous uh, When Faced with tyrants and unfortunately right now the orders that they'll be giving along with the police department are going to be tyrannical They're going to be about taking rights. They're going to be about enforcing their technological agenda They're going to be about assaulting people by way of vaccines And forcing it they'll be the ones doing it. They're always the ones doing it are they going to wake up? Has humanity woken up yet? Or are we going to continue to enslave ourselves like a bunch of fucking idiots? Because why? You know, because we don't feel like picking up the books and learning. We don't feel like facing what's truly going on here. People want to stay in their perceptual bubbles and pretend that A, B, and C is going to happen. And this is going to be fine. And this, you know, ease on the lockdown is getting back to normal. You know, why do you think they're pumping the new normal down your throat? New normal, new normal. There is not going to be any old normal unless we take it back. And even that we don't want. We're not looking for that feudalistic setup either. You know? These people, again, are playing God. They want to rule over you. You're going to let them? Is this, uh, this monopoly board of a life really worth selling out your soul to? You know, or is it time to get back in touch with who we are? Who everyone is, and the fact that we all matter, that no one has the right to to commit these heinous acts, whether you're in a uniform or call yourself a government or or you're just some scared uh, sheeple pointing out the window at people walking around going, go home, flatten the curve, whatever role you take, whether you're in a company doing what you're told, uh, you know, shipping ventilators or, or which are killing people, um, you know, whatever part you take. To make your money. Is it really worth where we're going here? These are the questions people really need to ask themselves when they start letting everybody back in. Are you really going to allow them to forcibly inoculate your children? When you go back to work, you're going to let them force a test on you and force vaccines down your throat later? You're going to let them know that, yes, you own my body and I'm a slave to my money. So do what you want. Money's more important. You're going to take the, the uh, Judas road, huh? You know, right now, so many people are taking the Peter Road, which is denying what's actually going the fuck on here, denying the truth, because they're afraid. Look, man, there's only a few weeks of a window here before we really start to feel things. 
maybe a few months. You know, we're feeling it already with the censorship and, you know, people that actually can see what's going on here, know what's coming. But most people are walking around in a dreamland. <laughs> and uh, I hope they come out of it because freedom depends on it. Humanity depends on it. Otherwise, we will be living in a surveilled, controlled, um, you know, directed and uh, ruled society, ruled over by a bunch of tyrants and forced by a bunch of fucking order followers, eventually replaced by AI and robots, which you see they're doing already, but they're not smart enough to fucking realize it. They think, look, it's cool, man. Can use a drone. Yeah, it's cool. Real fucking cool. You know, that little baby mindset needs to wake up. Stop trying to please daddy. Get your head out of your ass, everyone. Because uh, if you think you can be complacent now, you have no fucking idea what these people are capable of and what they're going to do. And then when it happens, you're going to buy their propaganda and go along with it in hopes to come out the other side and take whatever scraps they throw at you through this new fascist government that has taken over this country that people are still in denial that happens. Even though you can look at the Defense Production Act and see that they've taken over the, the, the production and distribution of all goods, you can see that the Fed is dumping trillions of dollars onto the stock market and into the central banks through Wall Street, and they're buying everything, so they are, will be the lenders and buyers and owners of everything. Oh, great. What did Trump do? Oh, he merged the Fed with government now or some bullshit. I don't even know. Or care. That's what I saw people saying. You know, you can't see that. That's fascism. That that is them taking complete control like they wanted to do. But you still think this is a, a real pandemic? You know? <laughs> you think this is what a pandemic would really be like? Where they want you to hurt your own self by wearing a mask and deplete your oxygen and breathe your own fucking germs and uh, not go outside and keep the immune system functioning properly and get some sun? And no, Yeah, right. Because all of a sudden medicine's reversed and because it's on... Fucking MSNBC, Channel 6, Channel whatever fucking Stuna channel people watch or website they look at. They wouldn't. They wouldn't lie. They, they must have discovered that we have to invert all the science right before the virus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know, or realizing, hmm, I don't know a fucking thing about any of the, how any of this works. Maybe I should get my own understanding of the immune system and virology and a little biology and, you know, uh, a little understanding of how this has been treated over the years and. Maybe some numbers, which, again, we could see the flu last year outdid this pandemic this year by numbers. Everybody's being labeled a COVID death. Um, I'm waiting for it to happen to someone I know that just recently passed away in the hospital two days ago. And I guarantee that's what will happen. Um, but it's not liberty to talk about it because I don't know that they would want me to do that right now. But, again... It's time to keep talking. It's not time to get complacent and be happy to go back to doing shit. Uh, they're still going to want you to social distance. They still want you to, 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 to not even interact like human beings and talk to each other and, you know, smile at each other and make eye contact and see the inflection in people's body language and, you know, all that kind of communication stuff. They certainly don't want you putting ideas in people's fucking heads either about what's really going on here. So I don't see bars reopening. I don't see, you know... Uh, gathering places where people loosen up around a few beers or whatever happening, uh, opening. So, pretend that, uh, how you doing? Sorry. Good. You. Good. Um, pretend that uh, we're going back to normal is only digging yourself deeper. Stay vigilant, stay aware. Try to have what you can to survive. But the most important thing really to me is to keep speaking the truth. It's even more important than surviving. I mean, you know, the truth can't exist without us. It has to be spoken into existence. It has to be, you know, uh, uh, manifested in the world. And if you understand human behavior, you know, people really do want the truth. They're just scared. They see more people actually standing in it. And from my own experience, you know, people will stand in it with you. It just, as it goes along, people tend to back away. Uh, you know, and leave you hanging. So what? You keep going. Because there has never been a bigger fight. I mean, 
This is a war for your soul. This is a war for humanity. This will change the planet forever. Our kids and grandkids growing up in a fucking computerized, artificially intelligently run, surveilled, controlled, uh, right down like the Hunger Games society that serves the fucking elite. Um, you know, tyranny with a boot on their necks uh, that they can't, you can't even imagine. So people don't want to realize that kind of evil exists, let alone that that's who's in charge of all the governments and corporations around the world, which are all one unit. All the governments, all the corporations. Do your homework. Trace it all back to the same fucking people. It takes time, but it's not hard. You know? Depends on whether or not people want that truth. Because with that truth comes responsibility. It comes changing in perception, which changes then your behavior, and if you don't change your behavior, along with what you know to be true, then you know you're a coward, and it really hurts inside, and you have to look at yourself differently, so people, again, too often than not, choose not to, where the hell am I, I don't even know where I walk, let's turn around, uh, let's go this way, more often than not, choose not to accept the truth, and then place that, that hope and that uh, responsibility onto either a government or a deity, you know. Again, the deity one really annoys me the most because most deities in religions tell you <laughs> that you have to embody these principles and become this. Uh, they don't talk about just believing in me and living however the fuck you want uh, and ignoring all the evil. That, that, that's not what that deity most likely did, particularly in the one I often talk about, which is Christianity because I grew up Catholic. But, you know, again, adhere to no form of religion and rebelled against that starting in seventh fucking grade, but never lost the understanding of what is right. You know, maybe had been misguided in my younger years, but placed in those situations, I still behaved properly in most aspects if I wasn't duped into thinking otherwise by my job at the time. So it's the same questions people need to ask themselves now. There's no other time. There's going to be no second chance We've had a million chances anyway to recognize all this. I mean, they're spraying the fuck out of the sky today. People don't seem to give a shit. Uh, you know, like I said, you can write, you know, humanity, we're going to kill you, in cursive up in the sky. And they'd be like, look at the way that cloud forms. <laughs> oh, my God, here, Esther, look at this. It's insane. So, anyway, all right, I'm coming out to the end of this trail here. I got to start making my way back. Um, catch David Eich on Monday. You know, I, I don't know how long it'll be up where it is, but you'll be able to find it afterwards. But don't wait. Watch it live. And keep a track of all the people that you follow, you know, and look for them on BitChute if they start disappearing. Look for them on their web pages. I obviously don't have a web page, but I would appear on BitChute because I won't shut up. Uh, shutting up now is the worst possible thing um, to me because... Uh, how else would I, first of all, direct this? Am I just going to sit there and accept what's going on here? I can't do that. Um, so it needs to be properly directed. You know, righteous anger needs to be manifested into something good. That's why we were giving, given the emotions, given all the emotions, actually, to feel, the ability to feel, especially to be empathetic towards others. See, we have failed in that over these decades of, of ignoring wars and pretending that, you know, our government's so good while they're doing nothing but raping the land for oil and holding back, you know, uh, anti-gravitic Tesla technology, which we could use to actually drive around in, which they've had for like fucking 100 years or something. Um, keeping all the knowledge for themselves and pretending that they're, they're on our side, you know, while uh, they give you excuse after excuse for war after war. And then right in front of our faces conduct a ritual of 9-11 and we still ignore it as a population there's consequences for that that shit grows and grows and grows and it comes home and that's what's happening so either you're going to realize it now while it's happening to you and all of us or you're going to turn to that fearful side that wants your soul that wants to house your soul inside this physical body where you're not capable of thinking you're not capable of acting as you wish you're not capable of whatever thoughts they don't want you to think uh, we've been told this over and over and it's manifesting people are choosing to ignore it now 
that has to stop. So, all right, I've rambled on long enough. Love you guys. It's getting windy out here anyway. Um, keep learning, keep speaking. Watch David I go Monday. <laughs>